Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. Episode 22 of Cyrus Says was released on July 2nd, 2015. Just to remind everybody that language usage and content that we provide here may be disturbing, disgusting, probably will be and should be. Words like bloody custard and words that rhyme with that may be featured. Actually will be featured. In fact, perhaps will only be featured. Just warning you. You're listening to Cyrus Says. <laughs> okay. There's laughter in the background, derisive laughter, but that's because nobody cares about my pain, and I have pain today. Pain, which is I'm good. I can't lie about this pain. Normally, I do lie in the rant, but today I'm not lying. A few days back, I went to China Garden, upmarket Chinese restaurant, and a lady inside wearing a horrendous red skirt with uh, seven different colors around it looked at me and said, "You're wearing shorts. You can't come in." This I call shortism. Shortism is a prejudice which affects me at the core of my personality. How dare you? How dare you stop people entering because they're not wearing long pants? It's a form of racism and prejudice. We have to come together. I implore all the people who love wearing shorts and want to wear shorts for the rest of their life, living in this tropical hot country. The British, when they came here and ruled us, wore shorts. They only left because we were saying, please, can you wear pants? Stop it, for God's sake. We can't take it anymore. Short people, I mean people with shorts, stand together. And China Garden asks you two questions. In China, there are shorts. In gardens, people wear shorts. Gardens and shorts go together. China and shorts go together. So why can't China Garden have shorts? So I moved to uh, Royal China. Lovely place. (laughs) Uh... You're listening to Cyrus Says... Okay, uh, the show is uh, filled with different things. We've got rhinos, uh, Punjabi English and uh, Rushina who's going to teach us about cooking. Also, don't miss Abu Salem getting married and we not being invited. Oh, Shakti joins us as well. I don't know why though. It's called Cyrus Says. I don't know why I didn't say that in the beginning of the show, but I forgot because I was in so much pain. I love Chinese food. I used to, but after what happened to me. Uh, girls, let's introduce you because otherwise I'll just keep talking about my pain. Uh, we have Chavi, and I said it correctly. And we've got Yay! returning, the returning champion. Seven yes, times welterweight back? champion from Dadar, <laughs> Mumbai. The one and only. Tang, tang, Salgaonkar ji. Namaste ji. We'll change your name now. And also joining us for the first time on the podcast and surely not for the last, Rushina, who loves food. Rushina, Hi. And uh, did I say that correctly? Because I'm very bad with names. Yes, you said that correctly. Okay. Uh, Chavi is now making strange gestures and pulling at Rushina's uh, pant and shoe. Why, uh, Chavi? I'll give you a chance to explain. I really that. like Rushina. Yeah, is that is so? Show yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. You know, Even Shakti is going to do this now. Yeah. So you're like going to be like the Spice Girls and talk amongst yourself and sing some silly you songs. You want to be my lover. You got to get, get with my friends. Okay. <laughs> China Garden is no, no longer my hateful <laughs> rant for the day. I changed my rant. I hate Spice Girls. Spice oh, Girls in Shakti, China Garden these, is the worst memory these two ever. These are real Spice Girls. Yeah, she's yeah. a spicy. Person, Shakti's that's cool. true. That's true. Look at the way we put it all together. I love the way our minds think. We've gone in the right direction. Quickly, one one question. What is your view on short pants before we get into other things? Rushina, men in short pants. I know Indian men's legs are terrible, but come on. It depends on what's filling them up. Oh! <laughs> you sex crazy animal. What and, the hell does that mean? And she well, told me she's, she's not going to get your sexual I know. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was talking about the actual issue. Of, for me, it's a practical issue. It's a hot country and we sweat and I think we should wear short pants. And uh, so, I'm agreeing with you. It's no, nice you said what fills them up. You can't take that back. <laughs> nice you cannot you take that back. Kushina, I'm sorry. If you we don't are very let me finish, I'm not on your side anymore. Normally, it's the man who says that. But anyway, <laughs> let's, let's move on. Now, you took it in the wrong direction. We'll come back to the right direction. Chavi in the meantime started drinking water. She's so nervous. <laughs> She wanted a very conservative show. We will talk about sandwiches with no double meaning. (laughs) All right. Uh, Rushina, let's start at the top of uh, your uh, entire life, which is that how the hell did you get into this whole food thing? Shakti, that doesn't mean we won't talk about you, but we've already introduced you, your dadar background, Kaivan, your husband, and we'll come back and talk about (laughs) the Malwani food at Raju's, which shut down and how much pain it's caused. Okay. In a bit. Rushina, the stage is yours. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, how did I get into food? I don't know. I just okay, and no up. double meanings. Huh? Now, uh, carry on. That stuff with you around. Oh, tell, tell us. Tell, tell us. <laughs> and the girls Look, giggle. You're and the girls, no, no, girls giggle on their own. And as usual, I have no idea what's happening. This is, this so why I like can, I, can I once see your legs in your shorts? So you want me to spread my legs? 
<laughs> this will take some time. He this actually has good time. legs, yeah. I've yeah. got very good. I can squat very heavy. That's what if he if he let me finish what I was saying. I put out women by telling them, look how much I can squat, and then they left. Who says that to a woman? Hey, you want to see me squat? <laughs> Our Indian men, we really need a whole course. Sorry, Rushina, see, it was not me. Shakti is the one who keeps talking. Notice, Rushina, notice how I love you. She you went into legs. That. She asked me to open my legs. <laughs> this is not the gateway of bloody India. I mean, not bloody India. I mean India. <laughs> so I was going to tell you something, but now I'll tell you no, after see, we see, finish. See, see, see. We were talking. We want to introduce you because you're new on the show. We know about Shakti. We know about Chavi. We have to talk about Chavi every time, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Chavi, stop so, drinking water and contribute. This is your third sip. Can, would you let Rushina talk? Well, I'm trying to get my legs across here. Give me a minute, <laughs> Rushina. You were telling us your background, how you got into this uh, whole food uh, chakkar. Let's go. Um, it wasn't planned. I kind of ended up. Oh, no double meaning there. I hope <laughs> everything I say is going to be double. No, you started meaning. it. You st- you changed. It the, wasn't planned. The format what of the show changed the moment you. That? All right, go. It wasn't planned. No. You, what do you think? My wife told me the last time we had a child. <laughs> Well, I think the best things happen when they're not planned. Yeah, plan is one thing, but I should participate, no? Oh, sorry, no, <laughs> Rishina, focus, 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 focus. Yeah, so you got into food. Give us a little bit about your background because a lot of people don't know. And when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about the few people who listen to you, the show. Me, because everybody else knows. No, no, no. They, ask, the ask, ask, listen, ask. we are not that bad. We actually have someone listen, else listening. Listen, Rushina is like the us. queen bee of the Mumbai food scene. Oh, is okay? it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm so you sorry. You don't know me. Kunal knows me. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not a great thing, huh? <laughs> for God's it sake. It is for me. Okay. okay, so when you say Kunal, you mean Kunal Vijay Karan? Of just, course. Uh, unfortunately, we can't show a picture. Like you would if you're saying talking about the you know silverback gorilla, then you show a picture like that. But you can't do that. Uh, so Kunal Vijaykar knows who you are. He's also a foodie, uh, yes. the foodie in his own mind, moron that he is. Uh, now, so how did you get into it? Um, you- so I was basically sitting at home. Um, this is going to be a very boring low story so, because the story setup is scary right, at the moment. That's how it you're is. going back into I sitting at home. You, I'm the old-fashioned vintage sponge cake of the food world. Ha ha! But you're going to a background of a with a buttercream icing. But she's giving me a physicality here. I was sitting at home. How can I tell you a story? Start from the middle. Start, yeah. Okay. Get up from the chair. Uh, so I. In, I in the story, get up from the chair. I'm here you sit. <laughs> no, no, ma'am, because she's sitting at home. Whenever we need some meal, don't let me talk. I will not give you the food I you, brought. For may you. I just say something? It's like long, long ago. I was asleep in He's bed. He's not interested in the food. No, no, no. And then by the time you reach your MBA and get a job, it's years later. So come on, you were standing up and. I started writing on food, and then I opened my cook studio, which is APB Cook Studio. It's in which Sakinaka. is slowly, which is we have to plug that. It's called what? A perfect Bite. Cook PB studio. studio. A-P. A perfect bite. A perfect bite. A perfect bite. A perfect bite Consulting is my company. We work with a lot of food and beverage companies. Okay. Providing consulting. So what do you do? You help them improve? Is it? What? What? What, what do you mean? Create new products. Uh, come up with marketing solutions. Uh, oh wow! Right. Can you give us an example of somebody you've helped? A struggling food company who was picked up from the floor by APB and made into a mighty empire today, like McDonald's. <laughs> Not yet. I haven't reached that stage yet. So you've lied so far. Yeah. No. We APB get has there. done nothing. Is that what? Cyrus, do you want the keema buns or not? <laughs> okay. Don't make any wild gestures. Keema buns, ladies. <laughs> and blondies. Ooh, Blondie, Rushina, not the girls. Oh yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I could understand. Kima buns and blondies. <laughs> Please, <laughs> woman, explain yourself. People are scared now. What the hell is this? Blondies are like brownies. Is she on prescription? Is she on any prescription? They're brownies. Ka safed. Oh, very yeah. nice. I hate that They're brownie. Racist word. brownies. Brownies are very racist. When people want a brownie, I said, stop it. Really? I mean, how, how can you say brownie? Isn't that more racist than blondie? Not really. I See, blondie in India is only like Tom Alton and a couple of other people. But brownie, <laughs> brownie is a terrible thing. So, to say. so that should be your national snack. Then. What Brownies. Tom Alton? <laughs> no. APB. Tell us a little bit about. Uh, come on, I'm giving you time to talk about your business now. Let's talk then, about it. Every time I open my mouth, you cover with something new. Uh, and what about what you said? Spread your legs. Who says that to I someone? Who said, said that? I'll said play it back I for you. Shall I play it back? Oh, oh, Shakti, thanks. Shakti, and you think alike. Pay Come attention, on. Cyrus, or no kima buns for you. Okay, now my kima bun is falling out. Thanks to what you said, <laughs> Rushina. Please, can we get back to your business? We want to talk about you. That's the podcast. Otherwise, I've got topics to go into. It's your decision. I am ready to talk. Ha! Huh? So let's talk. Let's promote the business. APB. APB Cook Studio teaches you how to cook. Oh, so if you're an amateur, Sorry. if you're an amateur uh, non-cooking person, uh, there's a sort of step-by-step process. There are workshops, workshops, right? Tell yeah, we do workshops. a whole bunch of different kinds of workshops. A uh, lot of men's cooking classes, Cyrus. Okay. 
if you know guys are looking men in shorts who come and cook with their legs wide that's even better for us yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, that brings the age old argument are men better cooks because that's the kind of rumor going about they like to think that they are so another lie by and men and you want as women it's nice to leave them thinking like that can i just add men when they think they are good cooks they think they work in a five star kitchen and they leave a leave a big mess behind they want sous chefs to chop and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. You that's prep because men need to go to the toilet they stir a spoon and time. they'll be like yeah i'm the master What? chef you're the sous yeah. chef like I'm six spoons men visit the toilet more than women so if you give them a long task they need to use the toilet if there isn't a toilet then that's why there's a mess nothing to do what? with the <laughs> right. we are more unhygienic i know you're that i've lived with men and i've lived with women i know the difference he's not coming in my kitchen Okay, I'm never eating dancha. What did you say just now? <laughs> Take that back. What did you say just no. now? How dare you say that? <laughs> I have the right to do that anywhere. No, oh, with, no with you don't. Prior permission. <laughs> with prior permission in writing. Yeah, so you're saying that men actually talk uh, talk the talk but don't really. But all the famous no, chefs No, not all of them. No, no but on television, the chefs that we are exposed to, if you look at MasterChef Australia, UK, USA, those things on those uh, channels I can't pronounce, lifestyle channels which nobody watches. On all those channels, it's all men who talk about food and promote food. Even on NDTV, uh, they've got about 3 guys doing food shows and only one girl. So Yeah, I, but th- there's all those men and then there's Nigella. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Nigella is lovely. Although I'm told that uh, they only shoot her from the hip upwards for some reason. I don't know why. You don't know why. I'm no comment. Maybe she wears shorts to her shoot. Maybe she wears nothing below. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. In, in which case, they're saving that for when the ratings I drop. I can see that this, this is gone. Like, this <laughs> drop, drop the camera when the ratings drop. This is the Rushina. dirtiest show we've ever had, and we've been very clean. We are perceived as a boring group because well, we never talk. Well, you've got talk. three spicy women here. No, but What it's you. You've that? changed the game. I salute you. <laughs> with, with, my, with my hand, I salute you. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. Okay, <laughs> whatever happens. Well, I'm, uh, apparently, we have to take a break. We've talked too much. You have giggled a lot, and <laughs> Rushina, you've dominated the conversation and bullied me. I, can I just say one last thing? I would think that if men think they're better cooks and women think they're better cooks, and actually the best cook would be a eunuch. It would be the best of both worlds. So that's one for my team. We'll take a break and then we'll come back. Welcome back to Cyrus says with uh, Chavi who's holding a glass and a bottle she's like a now a double fisting yeah double fisting oh god <laughs> Oh my, oh my god This is all downhill This has just been downhill uh, I just wanted some clean easy topics And what the hell have we done to this show Shakti you've changed it because of you You just come said Rushina changed it before her? the break Shall we blame her You feel better okay Rushina it's your fault please accept it I think it. it's you Cyrus you I'm the common factor Nothing happened last week When we meet together We, we never speak like this It's a called chemistry boys and girls Is it? It's called chemistry Oh okay Alright It's called ah. chemistry for some reason But we didn't have Alchemy much. chemistry Alchemy yeah. Oh, uh, it uh, needs it needs specific ingredients to come together. If you use any more big words, people will shut the radio. Now stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Is a dictionary sponsoring us? No, not yet. Dic- <laughs> dictionary, dictionary. We, dictionary we don't have, and sponsoring is. Uh, I don't know. Someone is sponsoring us, uh, isn't there? Yes. Uh, wow, wow tables. And and um, I vape. I vape. I, I was testing you. I remember my sponsor. <laughs> I will not walk into a show not knowing my sponsor. What? Kind Moron does that, yeah. Come I've on, never heard come of on! Done. How yeah. dare you, Chavi? Rushila, oh. feeling good? Awesome. All good. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit more about uh, your business, or should we go into topics? I think let's go into topics. Okay. Supposing someone wants to join the uh, the workshop, is there an easy way to find out? Uh, you want to give us yeah, a link on, or something? Yeah, online. Uh, APBcookstudio dot com is our website. APBcookstudio dot com is the website. Please, right now, go and learn. How long does it Shakti, take? Shakti, have you ever done a workshop? Um, I I actually helped her with the Maharashtra uh, Mejwani that we did uh, mm, about a month ago. Yeah. That's when and we first connected on Twitter. Oh, yes. you only know yes. each other one month? No, no, you, no, 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 you and us. Oh. Because Kunal and Shakti were both there. Right, right, and yes. obviously I know what I'm and talking I've about. I've done a workshop also. At you, you've also done a yes, workshop. A Japanese mm. one was awesome. Really, for yes. Japanese food. Yes. Name five Japanese dishes in ten seconds. Your time starts now. Uranuru soup, yakisoba, teriyaki, sushi, miso, sushi, miso, sushi, miso donburis. Now, nah, whatever. Yes, yeah. anything. Sorry, your time is up, and I it was mean, only ramen. only ramen. teriyaki was correct. The rest was sounds that sound <laughs> Japanese. Ramen, ramen is Japanese. Yes. I thought ramen is just a guy who can't pronounce Brahmin. What the hell? Is <laughs> That's a really sad story, you know. Ramen, Maggie, all gone. You quick, your views on that? We all eaten Maggie for the last twenty years, and nobody died, as far as I know. So what? What's happening? Oh, it's going to come back soon. Don't worry. So Maggie will be back, and and this ramen is also off the shelves, poor fellow. Everybody is off the shelves at the moment. Uh, uh, what do you mean by everybody? <laughs> all the, all the stick noodles. to the noodle. Ah! All the noodles. Come. <laughs> oh, okay. Promoting your noodles now. I'll move on to uh, now. First topic of the day. Girls, ready? 
and we're going to talk about Hollywood uh, actors and actresses. One of whom I don't even know, called Rose McGowan. Chavi, uh, Chavi, is that correct? Yes. Rose McGowan, and uh, she's doing an Adam Sandler movie. Do you all remember this guy called Adam Sandler? Oh, yeah. yeah, we love him. He yeah. thinks us, he's the Cyrus Brocha. No, he's the Raju Srivastava of uh, Hollywood. No, no, he's Cyrus Brocha. Raju Srivastava. I insisted Cyrus. <laughs> Come on, why? The poor guy's doing so well. Okay, uh, now apparently, uh, Chavi, you want to read that? Sure. The sexist so, comments. The actress Rose, she got a script for an upcoming project, and it was a casting note that came with the script where it was very specific, and it said, uh, "Please make sure to reach it, read this before you come in." And the wardrobe notice, black or dark, form-fitting tank that shows off cleavage, <gasps> push-up bras and courage, <gasps> and form-fitting leggings or jeans, nothing white. Nothing white. It's not an Indian director for sure. No. Indian director it has to be white in your other monsoon yeah. sequence. Correct. Don't so, wear anything underneath. Wear yeah. your transparent clothes yeah. and show up. And, and it's amazing. I don't know. Shana Srejiwala did a show, uh, movie in the south in Telugu, and she can't speak Hindi. Forget Telugu. And uh, they told her, Can I, "You girls know this technique." So she had to go into the water with wearing white, poor thing. And then apparently, all she had to mouth for the song is numbers. What? <laughs> no, just try it at home. If you say one, two, three, four, really quickly, and go on saying it, apparently you do the whole gamut of uh, oh. pronunciation possibilities. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you know the, the line. Will be dubbed later perfectly. So that's it. That's all it took. Awesome. Oh, White wow. and one, two, three, four, and they tell you to go to school and college and get degrees. What's the point? Right? What's the point? Now let's get back to the sexist comment. Well, what is your reaction to uh, there uh, a lady, a uh, leading Hollywood actress, being told to show her chest and uh, promote minute. her sexuality yeah. very openly? Uh, right, wrong. She's not a leading Hollywood lady by well, any means. If you say that, you know, then it brings on our show. That. Yeah, it looks it's like we nice. don't know. Is she not a <laughs> Rose McGowan? Is not. Famous? Huh. She's she's she's, she's okay. famous enough. She's, she's world famous in New York, but not, not in India. Is it? Roberts or anything? She, yeah. Not, okay. So uh, how how big is she on a scale of one to ten in Hollywood? Five. Then why do we care what happened yeah, to her? Four or five. Because actually. it's sexist and it's Adam Sandler, who and is definitely a ten out of ten in terms of recognition and, and so, I'm not saying talent, but, but recognition. But yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, devil's advocate, so don't start hitting me with anything. But uh, it's of art form, and the character is a woman who's uh, you know very sexually explicit. Let's say. What's wrong with the fact that he wants that in his canvas? It's just, I don't know, it's offensive. It's stupid and it's offensive. I don't think it's that offensive. Rushina, what do you feel? If you got a note like that, I wouldn't go. But you're an actress and that's the part. Every part you can't be wearing a salwar kameez and saying, Oh, yeah, you, kabhi you, pe. you can decide if you want to be part of something. So like that's that. fine. But are you offended? Honestly, hmm. I'm not. So, Chavi, you suck. You're union you offended. <laughs> we don't. No, we're all. Uh, see, it's it's entertainment, right? It, it, the entertainment industry. Explain to her. She not explain to her. She doesn't listen. And it's a Sandler movie, yeah. yeah. If there's no like, like if you want to be in that movie, movie, you like have. Like we to say in Punjabi, it's comedy. Mm -hmm. Comedy hai, yar. Huh. So comedy hai, Paji. It's not a big deal. No, but the bigger thing What's was that she. Are, are we promoting? <laughs> but for Chavi, uh, it, if it happened in India, I'd be a little scared because we're not yet ready for it. Who but says I think it doesn't happen? Of course, it happens. No, yeah. I'm saying in India, it's a little more scary because of the way they exploit the actresses and all. But here, this is a known name. Now, your decision. She's one of many who got this email, right? This Fair enough, but, yeah. but they can like. But I think I, said, I think power to her for going on Twitter and shaming somebody who's naturally like much bigger than her. Yeah. And if she wants to really yeah. know, learn how to make money, Sharad power to her. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. I removed that remark, I strike it off the record and I, I shave myself bald for Cyrus the rest of my life. Cyrus is getting arrested soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Dadar will be safe for me. So you no, want... don't worry, I'm there now. Mafia there? queen of Dadar. Hey, we didn't mention wow. Kaiwan. Remember, we mentioned him thrice, your husband. <laughs> huh? Shakti is married to Kaiwan, those of you who are listening. Kaiwan is Parsi, she's Maharashtra. It's the kind of story that makes India happy. Since for you're me. doing family mentions, can you say hi Kunal? Your husband's name is Kunal? No, my brother's name is Kunal. He's a big fan of My him. husband's name is Kunal. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kunal, the brother of Rushina, not Kunal, the whatever. Well, if you were your gender. husband, then we'd have to hashtag it with love wins and change And her. all hearts. Oh, yeah, so yeah, now, yeah, now there's no bloody <laughs> sexism, Chavi. Huh, when that poor Rose McGowan has to show off her chest, that's fine. <laughs> but you're sexism. making fun of my... This is marriage equality. My this poor love life and my social skills, which are awkward at the very least. I mean, come on, stop it. Okay, so we're moving on from Rose McGowan. It was a waste of time topic and nobody's really made a big point here. Am I right, Chakti? As a Marathi film Look, critic, the big point. Does this happen in Marathi film cinema? cinema at I'm all? not going to answer that. Last time uh, I got know. into too much trouble. Why? <laughs> what did you say? It happens everywhere, yeah. If you have to look now, if Mallika Sherawat is not asked to wear like push up bra and all, it's wrong, no? Is, what, what, does that, what does that mean? Shakti, what does that mean? 
<laughs> you mean just because she uh, is perceived to be sexy, she should be more sexy? Is that what? Yeah, you're I mean, say? if you're selling an image, is what she's saying. I if you've created a brand, what if she's playing a dying grandmother in hospital? Should she still no, be? She's never going to do that role. Yeah. Why not? Uh, Maybe like fifty no years lines, later. There are no lines. Sometimes that's the way to do it. Maybe she's so, a sixty-year-old grandmother who has to go in flashback and do a Nagin dance. Wow, you're then good. <laughs> you're smarter than me. I should never tangle with you, man. You won that round. You just swept the floor from under me. How dare you? No more. To- Shakti's mic to be removed, please, okay. as quickly as possible. <laughs> I'm fired. Uh, and then Kaiwan, Kaiwan, four times, huh, by the way. Kaiwan, Kaiwan, ha, ah, Kaiwan, kya chhe Kaiwan? Oh, Kaiwan ji, ha, ah. agal paachal barabar chhe. I'm talking about his car. Ah. Okay. <laughs> That's Gujarati for front and back is okay. Some sexist people use that to describe uh, Rose McGowan when she walks, but not me. And I will not allow anyone to talk like that in this podcast. Whatever happens, have you ever met some really bad men who speak badly like that? And how 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 have you reacted since we got into the sexism uh, debate? All the time. So Rishna, yeah, all the time. Why would you react to men who just can't? You know, they they think they're being really funny when making sexual comments. You know, the wherever workplace, social place. Oh, I just give this. I don't know what you're talking about. Look. The innocent. I yeah. don't know what a male Not body is like. Not innocent. Like you're boring. Oh, the look you're giving me. Yeah. Oh, they just say you're the same look I'm giving you. I give to the others. Ah, it's fine. Okay, we're moving to topic number two, ladies and gentlemen. Selfie with daughter. Which is about a selfie with daughter, and uh, which is a uh, Namo. Did you do one? Yeah. No, my daughter's in America. You could have taken one earlier. Uh, I have. We'll be your daughters for today. What? <laughs> no. The lowest, the lowest moment in my life ever. Three ladies in the What's studio, in the and now they want to be my daughter. <laughs> Can I take a selfie of my pain? Me and my pain, me and my anguish. I'll take a selfie of that. Instead. <laughs> So China, China Garden, China Garden really not. Man, I can't believe it. I think I drank Kaiwan's. What? What did you drink? What Kaiwan? What? Don't say that on my podcast. We don't need the ratings. Stop it now. My God, this woman is out of control, man. What? You? you uh, what? Just what could it be? I drank Kaiwan's. What? What could it be? Chai. Oh my God. Rosie McGovern, where are you now? What are you suffering? Look at what I'm suffering. Oh God, that poor Kaiwan. Huh? He has no idea. Huh? Is this how you all talk all the time at home? Also, <laughs> she said, "No, it's chemistry. It's us. Yeah, it's us. Yeah, you're the catalyst." Oh, 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 stop! I've been called much worse. <laughs> Now, let's can we talk about saving the rhino? No, we're no. selfie with daughter. Oh, selfie with daughter. Unless a rhino is your daughter, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Everybody's daughter is not growing up to be daughter. Malika Shirabat. You might have a daughter with a long nose. You know, you never know. Yeah. Listen, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and if your daughter is really ugly, that doesn't mean you should feel bad. Maybe she's intelligent. Everybody has something going for them. <laughs> I'm just looking at worst case scenario. It's not a sexist point. Your your son may be ugly also. But for God's sake, I know ugly families. Have you met like ugly families where the parents come with the kids and say, "Well, have you have you met Bunty and Bubbly and you know they really look like balloons or whatever and it just doesn't work for you?" But maybe they're intelligent, sir. That's maybe. what I'm saying. God is really God nice. Talented. Yeah, I mean, imagine something. because Ma- looks yeah. just aren't looks anything. aren't. Well, I'm scared. Me, I've uh, taken away all the mirrors in the house. Can't take it anymore. <laughs> can, uh, can we get back to the the, the selfie? So let's. Uh, anybody here has children, daughters? You have a daughter. How old is she? Wait, seven. This is Rushina. Rushina, yeah, who put nice. a hand up, and yeah. I responded, yes. even knowing that in this medium, <laughs> no one will understand. Yes. <laughs> this is how stupid we are. We think we're being shot on film. That's not happening yet. Uh, so you have a seven-year-old daughter called Natasha. Hi, Natasha. But don't let her hear the show up because it's gone all over the place. She won't understand most of it. Not even when she's twenty. This is a waste of time. This whole show. Natasha, seven, and your husband's name is Shekhar. Shekhar. I could do jokes with that, but I'll let uh, it go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also have a son called Aman. Aman is also an area of humor, but I'll leave that as well. Aman is how old? Thirteen. Okay. Hi, Aman. Hi, Natasha. And Shekhar, uh, did he take the photograph? Uh, because Namo said takes uh, no, pictures with your daughter. No, he's not on social media. But it's uh, all over the place. It's yeah, in the media. Yeah, but me- my husband is. So, so I want to. So know he doesn't listen to the prime media. minister. He's not a person who the, when the prime minister says do he this. He doesn't thing. get Twitter. He doesn't get. Selfie. But did he do yoga on World Yoga Day? International no. Yoga Day? No. Okay, so he's really not into the BJP at all. No. Is he with Lalit Modi in London at the moment? No, he's not. Okay, whatever. You know, you can be open and frank. So, uh, but the, but but let's look at the sentiment for a second. Sorry, Chavi, I keep interrupting you. The sentiment is trying to promote. Look, we are a country. Y'all are women. Uh, I don't want to be patronizing, but the fact of the matter is that this is a male-dominated, terrible country in many ways. And uh, at least it's a step, maybe just symbolic, in the right direction. Chavi. So my question is that you're taking a selfie with your daughter. If you're not on social media, you live in some village like huh? Bibipur. You Hayana. just want to fight. Tell me. I just want to know you're what you're doing with yourself. Of the podcast. Exactly. You want to scrap. Take them on the phone and show them around when they're on the bus or on in the khet. Like, what do you do? With yeah. It you and the them? other thing is when people were having a dialogue about how pointless this whole exercise is. 
Kavita Krishnan got abused, man. Yeah, this he's a jail like, the bitch. What? Exactly, Alok Nath. I will not have that language on my show. Who said Kavita? Stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. So, you know, it's kind of pointless if you're promoting selfie with daughter and hmm. women are getting blasted on social media for hmm. just saying no, it's not cool. Then what's the point? Hey, what hello, respect? It's, a, it's supposed to be a democracy. If you don't like the idea, you don't like the idea. I don't see the problem. Yeah, we have to stop getting first. offended. But that's the sad thing. We have to remind this people it's a democracy. Remarks. This is coming from someone who got offended because I was wearing shorts in front of the restaurant. <laughs> 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 I mean, everybody has their own axe to grind, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, but my, my point is, so you don't believe in all these. You think it's all like uh, just marketing gimmicks or just symbolic gestures. Like Ache Din and your staff, uh, you know. No, if you, you know, if you take all the pictures and put them up and then do something with them in a village to show how few girls there are, so like, okay, do something with it. But taking a photo, keeping no, it on your I phone, think, what think, is that about? I, I wanna just the bond is trying to create, perhaps a bond when you sit no, with your daughter. No, that also, and I think so. There was one very sweet tweet that I saw yesterday, mm-hmm. which was a, a a guy who put up a and don't read any. No, I won't. No, yeah. I have a eight year old daughter myself. <laughs> oh. So he said, I had to wait fifty two years for this to happen. This is a selfie with my daughter-in-law. Selfie with daughter. I think again that was really sweet. So he switched to daughter-in-law because he doesn't have a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But as the in, fact that he like was yeah. not perceiving her as a daughter-in-law and a daughter, yeah. I think is really nice. Although, really it, although, can I just say one thing? If she's the daughter, then she shouldn't marry the son. I mean, I know. Son. I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there <laughs> that, that. But, but we respect the, his sentiment. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I think things. the day men who have daughters realize how important daughters are and and put their daughters above everything else, that'll be, become the the change that we want. Because yeah. I think it's happening now. I know many of us who have daughters put the daughter on the pinnacle that she deserves to be on, and from there understand that the treatment of women has to change completely because You're her like daughters. Three percent of the population. Them. What about Sorry? the people in the villages? No, no. But which, can uh, I also add that the it's the women who need to understand that daughters are important because yeah. so far I'm one of two daughters. Right. And so far the only women who have kind of come to my mom and said, "Are beta nahi hai? Abhi try kar lo." What are you saying now? Now? Yeah, I mean, this was like five years ago. That's sort of now. Shakti will take care of the kid. What the hell? No, but you're not. This is not funny. Can you edit this out? No, I think this is Okay, and what what has your mom done about it? Nothing, right? Nothing, obviously. But my mom used to be really shocked. But I think. But this happens. There's two, three things in here which I think is this is a good movement for. Mm -hmm. Even if that one selfie with daughter that that one guy puts up, four of his friends see and buy into the idea. I think it's a great thing. Yeah, because cynicism is always there. We can't change that. And the cynical people are not the bad people. They're the ones who anyway who are for it actually deep down. So we're fine. Yeah, yeah we're fine. You be a cynic. That's fine. I understand. But I like uh, Rushira's more romantic take on the whole thing. Otherwise, what's the point of living? We have to have some hope. So the sweetest one I saw was somebody who'd taken a picture of his chappal next to his Chotu daughter's chappal. It was so cute. Oh. That then he put that up oh. selfie with daughter. Sweet. Unless, really of course, sweet. the chappal was the better Cyrus. looking option. But why would we even get it? Oh, how small <laughs> and disgusting a person yeah, yeah. would say something like no that. No kidding. Because Is that yeah. See, she's even a little romantic. No, we killed Something that moment. You, Rushida, we had a nice moment there, and then we killed it with that chappal thing. Yeah, yeah. I went to a rhino and yeah, said maybe she's got intelligence. You were talking about how <laughs> men with daughters need to put their daughters on a. Yeah, I'm saying the moment. It's men who don't have daughters who need to recognize the importance of daughters. A lot of times, so I have a daughter. So yeah. whether she's going to get married, and th- th- be, I'm worried about the family that she gets married into. Whether they will respect her as a daughter. Yes, but uh, Shirke and Shinde did a survey in Maharashtra. I'm not making this up. And 78% of middle class homes, it's the daughter who looks after the elder parents and not the son. Yeah, Let's yeah. be honest about that's it. That's the other way around. Ah, hello? That's so the other part of the story. If you're an old story. parent, you're the first thing you should rem- uh, understand. Thank God I have a daughter. Exactly. Anis put ghee on her roti and not the, the, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the ghee. And we all know that the maternal is... What is that saying? A son a is son a son. A son is a son. No, a daughter a son is a son till he gets a wife. A daughter is a daughter all her life. Okay, you've moved me. You've moved me to a go into a break because you took 45 minutes for a two line couplet. <laughs> Not exactly Iqbal or Huck or Manto or any of those big guns. Yeah, yeah, Just something you read in a male urinal. We'll take a break and then come I back. I don't think that goes up in male urinals. Hello, I've been to male urinals. Don't judge by my looks. Okay. Who says we haven't? Yes, some say I was born in a male urinal. Shakti, you've been to male urinals. Kaiban! Look at it! It was an accident! What do you mean it was an accident? I just, I was tweeting and I walked in. You were tweeting and you walked into a shulab. I don't understand this. No, Upmarket you know, girl from the other end of the phone walks into a male urinal. Hello, by the way, huh. there are many places where women don't have an option but to go to a male urinal. I know, I know. that This is true. This is true. And men use that other urin- urinal called India, wherever you are. Yes. Typical. Yes. We'll take a break and then come back.
We're back with the ladies and the good fun gang. We'll move away from sexism. We've decided women are better than men. I accept it. I won't even ever fight that. But I come from a family of strong women. My mother is strong. My wife is strong. My daughter is strong. And men are like me. If only the audience could see our expressions. Yeah. At the yeah. No, yeah. you you basically turned around and looking the other way. That's the, it's shameful. <laughs> the lack of respect. Maybe that's the way India should go. But uh, now let's talk about animals because uh, Chavi has got a very very important uh, point she wants to make about rhinos and horns. Now I can't find the page. So Chavi, can you help me? Sure, I can because yeah. I've actually done stories on this. Go you. ahead. Yeah. Go on. So you know the rhinos endangered, right? Yes. Why? Uh, for the horn, yeah. they kill a, a terrible the stories I've so heard. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Not yeah. just an aphrodisiac. They use it for everything. For skin, for health, for this, for that. And in I The think biggest market, I won't take names of countries. The biggest market rhymes with Pina. The biggest country that ends with men, where as a rite of passage, young Yemen. men. <laughs> I was going to say the name of the man. But I, I just had to guess. I'm one of those guys who has to guess. If you give me a, a clue, I'm, I'm sorry. So, I believe it's a rite of passage that as a boy becomes a man, he's like 21 or whatever. He has to sit on a rhino horn. No, they g- well, that, that <laughs> may have worked. Especially if they could reuse the rhino horn for every single guy, that would be awesome. God, with the rhino horn on the Attached rhino. Attached to it. Yeah, yeah, really. That would be perfect. But instead, what they do is they sever it. And you know the, what the horn is actually made of uh, it's uh, like nails a, yeah it's like na- hair, t- hair, hair yeah. tissue come to Ketin, yeah. what is it called keratin 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 like obro sheratin <laughs> yeah very good. Shakti, you're superb. You're, you're the man of the match. She you know, did her homework. She cheated. She te- she's been on Discovery Channel last seven years without stopping. Now, yeah. They so, chop off the horn and then they, it's a ceremonial thing. They make a dagger with that as a hilt. And it's, it's and, the animal, and the animal dies after that? What happens? They bleed to death usually. Oh, they, God. They can't live after that kind of bleeding. They're not They're not hanging out in the public like, oh, look, my, my whole horn's gone. Come and save me. It's almost impossible. And out of the two basic species, black or white, one is completely almost gone, almost right? It's a white rhino. White, yeah. white is almost Just gone. One so there's all kinds of... Irony. Nothing. White rhino in Africa has disappeared. And the black rhino survived. Whatever, but I won't get into that. Um, yeah. Coming back to the rhino, and so there have been lots of initiatives that people have tried to do. One, you know, they're making it. They, they don't pay the forest rangers enough, especially in India. They, they're given five thousand rupees a month to work. And they never confirmed all this. No, and these poachers are uh, efficient guys with big guns and properly so organized. What the do they have is torches, torches with batteries. I've my seen God! It. What they do is they actually uh, help get villagers to help them because they'll give them like a lakh, which is the poacher. The poachers the help the villagers. The villagers help the poachers. Because okay. they're the ones who know where the animal is going. They're creatures of habit. When they, are, mm-hmm. I just did all this for research when I did my stories, which is why I know so much about where they poop. So they they produce about ten kilos of poop a day, and they make it their own spot. Like that becomes their public urinal, private urinal. Sorry, uh, for poop about is ten not days. Urine, it's and different. they come and pee there too. So the <laughs> villager whose farm he's coming to know is this dude is coming to my house. He's going to come for the next eight days. So he he informs on him. So people have said, okay, one brilliant Indian man came up with this. He said, let's just take off their horns anyway. And then nobody will want to kill them, which is what? impossible because there are nerve endings and stuff. You can't, you can't. Uh, well, if you take off the horns, it's, there's going to be blood. It's just not. Then a, it's not, the rhinos are going to survive. You can't say, to, like, it's basically cutting off your nose to spite your face. Yeah, yeah, no, but they want to do it as a preventative measure. So, so what is this? Okay. the guy an was, idiot. Yeah, so that was Nick's, right? It just doesn't work. Yeah. Although I think they tried it, which was really stupid. No, so how many what? rhinos are left in Assam and India? How many are left? There are... Shit, I should actually know this question. But how bad is it? Okay, don't give us numbers. So something like 35 rhinos were killed last year. Oh, God. And, that's, and there are not very many left. We have 2,000. I think there are 2,000 rhinos left. In India, in India. Yeah, the, okay, the and point. worldwide as well in Africa, also the numbers aren't very much very better. Bad. So this Lovely one animal, biotech right? firm hmm. has come up with a fake rhino horn, which is 3D printed and apparently has the same genetic fingerprint. But I've got a suggestion. Since the rhino horn is made out of uh, keratin, right? Which is the, our nails, right? Am I right? Why can't we cut off our nails and give it to the poachers? So this is what they're trying to do. They've made this 3D fake look. But that's fake. I'm saying if all of us, four of us here, cut off our nails right now, call up the poachers and give it... Give Every month nails. collect all your nails yeah, and I'm send them I'm willing to do that to save somewhere. the rhino. I am yeah, willing to sacrifice very kind. my nails. I don't think it'll match up. I don't know how many months it'll take you to match up to a rhino. No, horn. but obviously we'll, uh, we'll do it in numbers. It's called scale production. They don't want Chavi. people's nails. They want the rhino. Look, horn. I go to the other station. So and maybe say, we should just all send our eighty percent nails are... every month. Collect no, why don't we catch the like poachers and chop their nose off? So that would be great. But that's, that's oh, what please, I Please, I would happily do that. I think that should be allowed. There should be a world poacher day where we all find poachers and just chop whatever Poach we want. Poach them. Yeah, we, we each take an organ we want. Uh, hello, lung paste. Ching. Like that, you know. No. Yeah. Skin, please. And we must all bleed to death also because they must feel what the rhinos feel. Otherwise, they won't understand next time the rebirth when they come back as the rhinos baby. But it's, you know, the poachers are there because there is a market. It's yeah. the market yeah. that needs to The problem to is those two, three countries who are in, insisting on you buying know? all this stuff. It's not so much the India, the market. This is true. The other thing that they've done is they've made bonfires out of ivory tusks and rhino horns like what, did you, what do you think about that like an entire nation 
African nations will take the hall, like whatever they've confiscated from poachers or rich people, and they'll stupid. burn it. And they burn it. That's even. Isn't that even? It's stupid? like so pointless. It's really because pointless. Like, okay, girls, you're bringing down my shoulders. It's very sad. Let's move on from here because it's just upsetting everybody. We can't save the rhino right now, but okay, we made so up. We're going to flood the Chinese market with these fake, not made in China. So we'll, we we should just Why nail we? all our nails to China. They don't want nails. Instead Rishina, of rhinos, can we give twenty percent of our Message population? Message to Jaiga, na. What's a very horny country, isn't it? That will you stop that? You can't make. these comments let all countries are horny you are my let's, guruji side let's give 10% of our population to china and say no do not attack the rhino the so horniest 10% of your population send oh god it. i'll go why are you doing this i'll be first <laughs> don't do this girl let me stay i love animals you're the wrong guy don't judge from waist below all the time you mustn't judge like that that's because you wear short I, I am going to wear shorts now, even to weddings and funerals. <laughs> after the China Garden experience, how dare they throw me out? I really feel it's like some sort of racism. You've travelled in Southeast Asia, no? Everywhere in shorts. Don't they give you sarongs to wear around your legs? They would never say no. no. They always uh, yeah. welcome you when you enter, especially if you uh, you pay a receipt and get a receipt and a bill and all that. They always it's lovely. They let you in with shorts. Everywhere. Sometimes you know, if I'm wearing pants, they ask me to pull it up. It's like that. Really, they're <laughs> lovely. I think it's because it's your legs. Shapely it's legs. your legs. Yeah. You're looking at my calves, but remember, beef is not allowed, ladies. Beef is not allowed. All right, time to talk English. Are we ready for our big topic? Yes. Go to our English point. Now, this is something I want to share. I want to share. I want to share. I want to share. I want to. Share. I'm doing reverb for my own show. I want to share. I want to share. I'm doing Baba Segal. Okay, here it is. We've got a very interesting story about Punjab. Where uh, which I will find in about forty five seconds. So just in the meantime, girls Because clap or sing. You have a sing. leak of interest, don't you? Sarah? Sorry, sorry. You have a leak of interest. L e a k is how you spell L a. How you spell lack? Oh, is that is that yeah. okay? Well, if, uh, have you found it? Ah, yeah, I found it. Eighty thousand Punjab students uh, of class ten, na, uh, class ten. That means at least average age seventeen, eighteen. Uh, failed English. I was fifteen when I was in class ten. Uh, that was the joke, but let it be. Failed English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chavi, <laughs> this is this is a hilarious story. So when they were asked, eighty thousand is a huge number. Eighty thousand students, and when they were asked, uh, apparently this is what the teachers said. Now let me find the quotes because I have to say them correctly. Yeah. uh the the the, the bahanas as we say the excuses are from the teachers this is who, who teach english uh english are international language so no interest staff of our school were vacant and our school has situated remote area and student mental level not well in this syllabus it's class very weak from 6 by chance and final one teachers under pressure of other work so no time study bale bale i don't know what that means <laughs> my favorite one is A class was very weak from six by chance. What? Yeah. What? It's a, it's a based on that Farhan Akhtar Zoya Akhtar film Luck by Chance. Luck by Chance. Yeah. We saw the first half and said we got another phrase and then it, they lost it in translation yeah. somewhere. But this is a little scary. Yeah. Teachers generally, I've been to B town, C towns, all over India. The teachers are generally pretty good, you know, for primary education. And they no, but they are academics generally. They you know they have accents or whatever, but they they're good. No, I'm a big fan saying, of teachers. I feel the normal. This is where you can buy an education degree. Yeah, that's it's yeah, happening no. in the last generation. That's the that's, sad okay. part. When you went there before our generation. In my day, <laughs> ladies. Cyrus <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah, when the Mughal Emperor <laughs> Akbar and I were friends and went uh, riding a horse. Is this a good time to ask how old Cyrus is? No, do why? What will the difference will yes. it make? Yeah, all I can tell you is all my organs are failing. Oh. This is the decline has started. What no, 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 mean? just. This one has started. <laughs> that one never hai. started. It's like that bike with no battery. <laughs> people, people By the way, again we are saying that one. No one can tell. Yeah, they can't see. Which you, organ yeah. are you so pointing at? So what are you pointing at? at? Oops! Brain. Awkward pause. <laughs> But why are you pointing lower? Shut up, Paris! You can't. I'm not a rhino. Dude, I'm a rhino. <laughs> Okay. I love Chavi. She's so bad. Three against <laughs> one. I've been bullied before. You know, nah, when I, nah, 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 when nah. I was Shakti, when I was twelve, you may not tell from my lovely, shapely face, but I had big cheeks. So what would happen is, why are you laughing, Chavi? I did. I had big cheeks. So what would happen is, like the the bigger, <laughs> like older girls, my sisters, friends, and all three years older, they would come and they would just pinch my cheeks, and oh. and it would really hurt me. They would like come here, and they would just pinch. It, it was a sort of molestation. Uh, you know, and and of course, when he's I grew, talking about the face, when grew, guys. When I grew older, <laughs> and I wanted them to pinch my cheeks or anything else, nothing, nothing. It was awkward, very awkward. Nobody is listening to my story, right? Of we, we, we're paying of attention. For so all the people who wear shorts and have big cheeks, I hear your pain. We will invade China Garden. We will sit there. We will pinch each other's cheeks, and we will and, wear and, shorts and eat noodles. 
What? <laughs> Back to your one track, one dimension thinking. Woman, control yourself. You're married with a child who's seven years old. How? So? Aman is how old? Thirteen. My God, you're married for many years then. Yeah. Okay. More than fifty. Are you happy? You like Shaker? I love Shaker. I also love Shaker. <laughs> I just felt like saying that, Chavi. It's a safe way out of the situation. Punjab language. What's happening to our education? What's happening to our students? Internet killing everything. Nobody what? actually pays attention. What? No, no, no internet. No, I'll tell you why. I, my theory is internet kills language. Internet SMS because everything is a, brev- a, brev- a brevity. Now, but see, I that's can't remember the word. urban India. Yeah, this is. Urban India is aped by rural India. Please understand no, that. No, yeah. Shamak Dawar, who performs here, is called uh, very uh, similarly Satyajit uh, Dawar, who's somewhere there. It's the same thing. Same thing. They, they ape this you. This is a fake Parsi plug. No, no, no. <laughs> How many Parsis are called Satyajit? Kaiwan, where are you? <laughs> Eight times I've mentioned your husband's name. Will somebody talk about the standard of English? No, I of think course. it's because the teachers clearly don't know how to speak the language. How can they teach it? If they Rushina, are you Punjabi? No. Well, pretend you are. I explain am. yourself. Oh, God, Chavi, you're Punjabi. Explain yourself. <laughs> and you, you speak the Queen's English. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, in fact, your accent scares us. <laughs> when I first met you, I didn't know what to say to you. So I've never heard someone speak like she that just before. Bowed. I yeah. did. But then I can't get up again. <laughs> you know scene. my physical issues. <laughs> good scene, huh? So, really. So I at least was a eunuch. Now you I'm, can't curtsy in shorts. You need skirts for Of that. course, you can curtsy in shorts. As if I have oh. anything to display, boss. Sure. Come on. <laughs> I can bloody curtsy on a pretzel. <laughs> or he can wear a kilt. Be on no, the but other you know what happens. If you're fantasizing right? about me in a kilt, Shakti, you need to see a psychiatrist. Kaiwan, hurry up. Change, change the nutrition. See this card you left me. Forget that. Chavi is upset. We were talking about her accent and you just ignored it. It was her moment to be Chavi, the upmarket superstar. Your voice, yeah, Chavi, you. Chavi, say something. No, because now, see, Punjab has done very badly. 80,000 Punjabis have failed. You're one Punjabi. You can take Punjab back to his glory. Off you go. With my Don't queen's leave. English. Huh? With my queen's yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Redeem 80,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. students. How do you have such a uh, sophisticated accent? But where does that I come from? I can't tell you my secrets. Please tell us. No. What's your background? And don't look behind you. <laughs> come on, come on. I say it's blue. Uh, Stop it. <laughs> Chavi, now don't be juvenile. I'm the juvenile. You be the adult. Now go on. <laughs> Like no, but uh, uh, g- uh, ladies, don't you think it's a, she's got a very sophisticated accent? She's hmm? awesome. Yeah, awesome. I love her voice. Yeah. I thought you were BBC trained for 14, 15 years That's at least. It. That's my background. So you weren't BBC. <laughs> no. Baba Broadcasting, Sairi yes. Soshidar's company. Excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. No. All right. Can you do accents, Chavi? Another Baba plug. I love how you guys Listen, stick together. Listen, Babas are such a minority. If somebody wants to plug them, okay, then I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will not I will not I will stop speaking <laughs> and forever hold my tongue and pull it okay uh, we're going to take a break now and then when we come back we talk about Abu Salem and marriage which I think is very interesting he's a very I'm handsome sure. don I oh, must come say on, yeah. stop it stop it no wonder you like me look where you're, what, what are your standards I, I don't even want to know what Kaiwan is now I'm so scared to meet him so scared hello ladies don't talk to each other you're disrespecting the old man, hi, the Adhyapak. <laughs> hi, hi, Shakti. Shakti, you're scaring me now. There's a psycho moment now coming out here. Yeah. You laugh non-stop like a mad animal and then suddenly make some comment which puts me down and makes me feel really small, inadequate and complex. And remember, all Indian males are already born like that. So don't do not do that. We love you, Simon. Oh, that's we much. love more, more. I, you. I, thank you, thank you. I'm a Leo, so anything nice and we feel... It's like a balloon you can inflate. Just say a nice thing, boom, balloon inflated. Say a bad thing, boom, balloon deflated. You don't need me to tell Can you about the balloon. That? I'll say something nice. You say something. Try, try, try. No, try. I don't want to be mean to him. I also love. Okay, him. you be mean. They're both looking at me. <laughs> Chavi, your thing is your accent can't be kind. See, the accent has got that very uh, teacherly quality to it. So you like have to no be like no nonsense. No nonsense. Yeah, you, it's a bit scary. Okay. How does your boyfriend? Is he okay with the whole? I'm sure he thinks I'm scary too. It, does he? How did you meet him? Awkward moment <laughs> number eighty-six. <laughs> yeah, you were in school together. Yeah. In the same British school. Oh, childhood <laughs> sweethearts. Childhood sweethearts. Right, moving on. No, come on. <laughs> right, we've all been open about our children, yeah, our families. Kaiwan is a, a part of the show now. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Tell us about the romance. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Shakti, tell her to speak. Suddenly, nothing. Tell, it's the Cyrus Says show. Come on, you know I don't answer questions. Just a little bit. Okay, of, Cyrus, tell us about how. You I met her Kunal. husband. <laughs> <laughs> I met Kunal. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you how I met Kunal very quickly. Kunal, we were doing a play called Ali Baba or Charlie's Chor, uh, which is called something else. Ali Baba and Bablu the Bear. Because we ripped off the story. It was a pantomime for kids. Who is the bear? 
the bear was a girl <laughs> called Peter Bear. Uh, uh, um, uh, her name was um, Anjana Sharma. She was an advertising lady, very sweet lady. She played the bear, and he played the bade chacha, which is one character who had to spit all the time. Anyway, he came for the reading, and it's a kids' play, very animated reading, and everybody was reading animated. Oh, idhar aao, walk fast, come on, run, run, they're coming, and all that kind of rubbish going on. And this is how Kunal reads his. Uh, idhar aao. <coughs> <laughs> oh, walk fast. Uh, uh, yeah, run. Help, help, help. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, "Who is this maniac? He has no idea what's happening. He's not even pretending to be part of this and coughing throughout with a cigarette in his hand." And but the kids looked at his face, and there was a boxer there, dog, boxer, dog. And everybody, oh, boxer was called Boxy, and they all said, "Look, Boxy and Kunal look like you know twins." And that was just very funny for everyone. And just his face was funny, so he was cast principally on his face. And let me tell you, he still can't read. <laughs> and it, it, we immediately hit it off because I spoke and he coughed. So he doesn't interrupt me, you know. So we have a good relationship that way. Yeah, match made in yeah. heaven. That's right. And today, hashtag love wins. <laughs> and now, now every, we need heart, 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 heart. And Shakti, every evening at six thirty, as the sun goes down, no pun intended, he sits on my lap and braids my hair. And we have a lovely relationship that way. Really nice. Aww. Oh. I can't unsee that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay with that. Stay with that. While you sleep at night, every night, Shakti, for the rest of your life. As the sun goes down, Kunal on my lap, braiding my hair. Chennai in the background. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. they have Chennai at romantic moments. That's hey, wedding. Low budget moments. man. Oh, that's wedding. That's wedding. Weddings when? There, no, here you would have two flowers, flowers kissing each other. Two flowers. What Iranian films? <laughs> Bollywood film, Bollywood film, at Bollywood film in 1940. Yeah. Correct. 19, uh, you don't do any of this in the after making love, they show the open window. What's with that? The man's running away. I don't know. <laughs> they would show the open window and then there'd be a tree moving. I mean, what? I do. I never got those images. The metaphors there. I never got it at all. Freedom. Or, or the man or is like exib- the, the or the world exib- has opened. No, no. The woman would have preferred Come the tree. That's what she's trying to say. <laughs> Come and see. The windows open. <laughs> Climb the tree and look at us. Superb. You girls are so vulgar and dirty. There's no need for me to turn up at all. Abu Salim. Speaking of vulgar and dirty, one of uh, India's greatest uh, talents. Abu Salim, uh, known for his dacoity and criminal activity, and, and for being chikna. Uh, He's called chikna, by the way. By you and his friends, but no, no, no. I In the jail, also he's referred to as Chikna. Apparently, Appa- I know this because of Mumbai Mirror. Okay, so uh, now that we know more than we need to about Abu Salim, <laughs> the point is, uh, Chavi, come on, take us through this. Who is this woman who wants to marry him? Secret he's lover. He's been married for a bit, and they've been going out. Alleged marriage to happen earlier. But how do you marry someone who's serving life? Wasn't in- did he marry someone else? Before? Monica Bedi. Monica Bedi. But that was while he was on the run. Then they came back, and she oh, served. So I think she was his girlfriend. Huh? Oh, oh girlfriend no no no, no i think they married but then they she they broke up uh, listen girls i don't have all the information <laughs> oh, dude, so he is muslim no allowed to get married no oh, god here we go again shakti <laughs> you can't be on my show you just can't be on my i, I love you cyrus no, I, we don't have a legal team we don't have anything representing us you can't talk like this please <laughs> You go and marry a Parsi. This is what happened. No, no, no. His lawyer yeah. went and approached for a what is a TADA, the Tada Court. Can we ah, tell? The Tada if, Court is a terrorist activity. Now one said, did Rushina say what is TADA? Okay, that's it. No, that was Chavi. No, that was Chavi. You said what is TADA? Yeah. TADA is the act. This, it's an act. Tada, it's a how can you know what Tada is? So what is it? Will you kill me first? I want you to kill me. Stop it! <laughs> Remember that song? If we kill you, then how do we get how our answers? How can you not know what Tada is? That's it. That's it. The, the show is over. I'm never going to speak again. Wait, I remember learning the full form That's for my journalism. Terrorist and disruptive uh, activities. I love to cool. Full marks for you. Something science. like that. Okay, Something now, like that. Okay, now listen. Uh, let's just set up what happened. Nobody knows. So which is going on talking. Tada court. Huh? And his lawyer went and said that she wants special permission for him to marry because secretly they already married. The lawyer and him. No. No. The lady, uh, another lady and him. The lady's I want to lawyer know went. Who is the lady who would marry him? He's he's in jail. He's supposed to be serving life. We don't I mean, I can't get a date. I'm out for the last forty years. Could be this Monica. No, but lady, right? no, no, no. It's not Monica. She has become big boss and all. She's she moved on to Hyderabad or something. She doesn't live here. Yeah, no, and she um, became a TV star and became friends with Rahul Mahajan. Oh. oh my God! So let's not even go there now. <laughs> We can only handle one person at a time. Abu Salim is hard enough for me. <laughs> um, so uh, Chavi, your your quick comments. He's a guy serving life, clearly a criminal with lots of convictions from murder downwards, and um, he can get married. Man, I think long distance relationships are hard. Imagine being like with somebody who's in jail for life. They have visiting yeah. rights. 
conjugal visiting rights? I think I so. Don't know I don't know. Look at your exists. minds, lady. Straight away you're looking at the Dude, conjugal visiting rights. Dude, we watch Orange right. is the New Black, so we have. Well, Orange is the New Black is all fine, but Orange is running the country right now. So be careful <laughs> of what you say. Conjugal rights, That's conjugal why India rights. Orange is the the only thing on your minds is can they meet Listen, physically? This is India. Windows open when things happen. <laughs> so even in jail, if you're serving life, when you're having relations, the window is open, is it? And the tree is swaying in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Oops! What a there are thing. trees in jails. There are trees inside <laughs> the jail, and, and there are lot shots yeah. in jail. At the, the food, at the food China Garden. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Options are there, na? No? Can't eat Chinese every day. All right, so we've uh, again done nothing with this topic except um, <laughs> understand that he is getting married. There is nothing anyone can do about it, or he's already married. There is nothing anyone can do about but, it. But like men are commitment phobes, right? Yeah. What? This guy has got a lot of commitment. <laughs> he's given a commitment to jail and to the exactly. girl. Exactly. And he's in jail. He can't even escape his I wife. Think that's the best I, I think the girl is the one who needs two slaps, man. No, no. That's why he said yes. Yeah, it makes sense. How because dumb are he, you? No, no. He's. Are she get all his property now outside? Yeah, that's it. Very good. And Cyrus taught me last time. The yes, moment yes. you get married, half of yours, half 50%. of everything is everything oh, is yours. Then it will be full. Ha, he is in jail. Now, what is he going to do? Correct. And the children will not be there. And wale. she doesn't have to wait for him to die. She can take Kare, the property now only because he's not going to use the property while he's inside. Correct. Open the door. Correct. So, children can do it. But so I've always been curious about what. Uh, by the way, I'm not part of the conversation anymore. They get They've like rice with dagri. Uh, the three lawyers of Abu Saleh are sitting together and discussing the property. They sort out the issues and make sure that he lives happily ever after. Yeah. Jail food. Why are you eating Jay? Why are you looking at me? On Eid, I was an under trial once. Biryani in the Jay. Is it like the Bollywood movies where they give you that like one lady full of water to eat? Yes, that that's basically what we get. Not only there, but also at China Garden. I'm told. So be careful. If you're wearing shorts, be careful where you go and what you do. So we are not wearing shorts to China. But Shakti, I like the fact that you've just sorted out his life completely and his wife's life and his property. You just in two sentences. Because you taught me. I taught you. I taught. Anyway, but I I think I'm understood what Abu Salim was trying to do because he's in Jay. He can give a commitment to anyone. No, the funny thing is, again. he is not doing it. It's her lawyer who's doing it. It takes two hands to clap, Shakti. You can't get married alone. I tried it. I tried it. No, no, no. They are secretly married for a long time, no, apparently. No, no. How can you be secretly married? Photograph that compromised her integrity with her family because she's with him. Okay. And, you know, now she wants to get married, and he says he's happy to marry her so that he can answer all her relatives' questions. This so uh, shall we book Mayfair Hall or that turf club? Which one should we? Book? Hey, not Mayfair. I got married there. You I don't want to be tainted like that. What was your marriage like? Lovely. Very lovely. Was he in no jail? Noise. Was he in jail or out of jail? Kaiwan at that time. Kaiwan, yeah. he was getting into jail. No, getting married. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shakti gets the last word on that, and that takes us out out of topics. I think we have to go to A M A. Yes, thank God, we've actually run out of topics. I'm so happy. Okay, let's talk about food. <laughs> let's talk about food for a second. Yeah, That's why I'm you're here. here. How can you not talk? Okay, about food? Okay, favorite food. Southeast Asian spicy noodle soup. I like that because nowadays in Bombay, nobody actually points out exactly what it is. It's anything from Korean, Thai, Vietnamese, oh, blah blah blah. Oh, and fusion. Fusion, whatever yeah, you call it. Like noodle dosa soup. Dosa met the uh, pav bhaji and became a pav bhaji dosa. Yes, I just had one of those. My yeah. biggest, my biggest invention was the Chinese bhil puri. I thought that that, that was not your invention. No, what I mean is, I, I, it blew my mind when it first you came. You mean out. discovery? Yeah, that's what I meant. The Punjabi, channel you're watching. Punjabi, Punjabi, Punjabi by nature. Punjabi. Dictionary. Eighty thousand and one students <laughs> failed. <laughs> yes, tell us more. Southeast Asian is your favorite. What is the food you don't like? I can't believe you don't not like some food. See, where there's love, there's hate. What do you like to make? Where yeah. there's black, there's white. Where there's hair, there's bald. Really cute doodles, right? And yeah, doodles. And, they're beautiful. And beautiful lunch boxes. Doodles. Things. Or noodles. Foodles, foodles. Foodles. What is a foodle? Food doodles. I draw pictures oh, on my phone, which we can share with our listeners. Of course, not yes. we can't. Yeah, fair. Well, enough. I'll send Instagram you some. Pay. You can put them on your kitchen wall. Uh, it's not. My, I live with my parents. It's their kitchen That's wall. That's okay. I don't have anything. <laughs> okay, so I have chai and vada pav. Uh, uh, ask uh, Shakti Parsi. Boys don't leave the house. <laughs> ask her. You'll find their remains there after hundreds of years. <laughs> Yeah. Find somewhere to. I can't just jange jange. Off the egg you. Nineteen forty two. Love story. Back to your phone. Boy, pyaar se gift deta hai. So don't tell them what you're going to do with it. Just put it up somewhere. Can't I put it on a relative? So I don't want to see the relative again. <laughs> no, always walking around, just doing your own. The relative deal. will have like a vada pav on your relative. Hello. Suddenly you'll be interested in your relative. But it'll be a fake vada pav, no? Then you'll hate your relatives even more, correct? Because you'll be hungry every time. Exactly. You look at The legend of this podcast. <laughs> How it changed color in front of my eyes. So, lesson to be learned: never ask three women to come on the show at the same time, even though you're not sexist by nature. Never, ever. We right. love you, Cyrus. We love you. You can't stamp on a man all day and then say we love you. That's sarcasm. But the, how do you think women get their own back? 
Okay, let let's quickly give up. <laughs> <laughs> Women, while you're getting your own back, quickly give us a little bit about the food in Rushina's life. So, what's your personal, other than Southeast Asian, what's your comfort food at home? Dal rice. Simple dal rice. No, I, I'm I not a fan. I make awesome dal. I really? make awesome dal. Is it Gujarati dal? No, no, just any dal. I make awesome dal. Well, if it's made by Gujarati, it becomes Gujarati dal. Come on, now you know your English. Yeah. Like the sweet and spicy. Okay, that. Oh, let's not go there because I will start arguing with you. It's not sweet, Gujarati. Yeah, this is a stereotype that yeah. all Gujarati yeah. food is sweet. Yeah. Let me tell you. Parsi food is sweeter than sweeter Gujarati. actually. I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But tell me, yellow dal. Yeah. Ah, I like yellow dal. That's why. Dan dal ne, dan dal ne pati. I like. I, I make all kinds of dal really well, but I think it's just, you know, you come home and uh, on a long day, it's either soup or it's dal rice. Right? That's all you eat. No, no, I. Super dal like brothers, they're the same thing. One is in <laughs> a big bowl. You ask me my comfort food. That's okay. my comfort food. Okay. I eat a whole bunch like? of other things. Anything I cook. Oh. Ah. Ask him. Ask him. Uh. Shanti, what's your comfort food? Um. Kai. Don't be one. No. <laughs> What? I'm Why? You, you in the beginning of the show said it, it, this is Kaiwan's. Uh, Acha, one sec, one sec. One sec. Before we get into what, so the keema buns today. Yeah, yeah, I want. Are made by Shekhar. How sweet! Yeah, he's an so he's, amazing baker. He, he's your Maharaj in a way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, or you know, we divide it. Whatever. So I do the cooking. He does hey. the baking. Doesn't emasculate him at all. I think men who can cook are very sexy. He is awesome. <laughs> 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 okay, girls. Uh, time. Oh, sorry, Shakti. Yeah, my like, comfort yeah. food. It's uh, varan bath. I mean, dal, the dal Marathi bath. version. And now that I'm married to Parsi, it's done, sir. Don't say you can't eat it every day. It's too heavy. No, comfort food. Okay, when you're, you're feeling, feeling low, down and low and out. Oh, okay, let's have dance. So now that you're married to Parsi, you you feel down and low and out a lot. Let's go have dance. Where will where will we go? Kurush. Who's Kurush? Kurush is Mashi. Can you have a personal conversation later? Who's Kurush? Kurush is hi Kurush. Hi Kurush. Yeah. Girls have a Kurush on him. It looks like. Yeah, he's awesome. Who's he? Ah, Katie Dalal's son. He is. Yeah, he does Parsi. The famous Katie Dalal caterer. Yeah. Name is Kurush, is it? Oh, I didn't even know. And that. he also makes Jain chicken. What kind of Parsi? You should call him Kurush. Jain chicken. Yes. Two words you don't say on no, the show. No, and you, you have, have to call, call Kurush. You have to call Kurush. Like if you want Cyrus, shut up. You have to call Kurush. Kurush, come on the show. Come on the show. Okay. Avi jao. Let's let's change. Bring Dhansak. Bring Dhansak. Can we come? Can we come? Of course you can. Quickly, your food favorite. My comfort food. I would eat a tomato sandwich with mayonnaise. Bloody Britishers! <laughs> <laughs> After all the things we go through, tomato sandwich with mayonnaise. My God, how dry is that? My son loves tomato sandwiches with mayo. You should meet each other. He has a whole sandwich. But I think he's a bit young for her, na? Which is <laughs> what did you say? Uh, nine. Thirteen. 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 Not so young. At least one year. Let him wait. Still too young. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, too young. Yeah, but uh, come on. No, no, Chavi Singh. At least he learn English. Chavi Singh, she. Chavi. <laughs> Rishina, Sabi Singh, she is too young. Look at the attitude. Okay, one and day. I did not drink any vodka before coming on this show. Just to clarify, none of yeah. us are drunk. You can take our blood. It's Cyrus. No, 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 no. Bus. No Cyrus. blood. Nothing. It's Cyrus. It's, it's Cyrus. Cyrus. We're drunk yeah. on Cyrus. Yeah. Oh. I miss. <laughs> Okay, it's time for us to leave blood aside because uh, I think at the end of the day it's a very peaceful show and talk about the AMA now. Rushina and Shakti, let me introduce you to a new part of our show called the AMA, very complicated part where you can ask me anything. So you can also ask questions in between, but we have some people who actually sent in questions. Uh, Cyrus says, "Ask me anything." If you want Cyrus to answer your questions on air, send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. If you send us a link to a sound file on SoundCloud, we'll even play you asking the question in your own voice. And that's what Cyrus says. And now for the award-winning section called the AMA, Amma. And yes. So from Puneet, it's raining like crazy right now. So here's my question. It's not really. It's actually When stopped right now. When he wrote his question. But he can't say it's raining right now. He should say at the time of writing. Puneet, one point gone. Go on. What's this fascination with chai and pagodas people have when it rains? I don't know. I hate pagodas. So I can't answer this question. I I have never drunk chai in my life. I'm a bit like the British show on the left. <laughs> <laughs> the tomato sandwich, tomato sandwich. Well, I drink tea, thank you very much. Okay, no, Put no, some chai. cookies. No chai for me. <laughs> no, I think if you just like. Broad British accent, Ruchina. You have to uh, continue. Am with I the even answering this? Or are yeah, you? yeah. Answer. No, no, but do it in your British accent because we all are. I don't know. Come on, Gujarati chai na. I can do Australian. Do do. No, I can't. Okay, I do Australian. Come on. Yeah. No, just let me talk. Yeah. No, I want accent. I want accent. Without accent. <laughs> Give me accent and off you go. Uh, what is the fascination with pakoras and chai when it rains? I think it's. Where's the accent? 
Cyrus. This one acts okay. Go ahead without the accent. Yeah, you do she's a proud thing. Indian. I am the foodie. I'm answering. There's, the no <laughs> there's no such thing as a paradox in terms. There's no such thing as a proud Indian. There's a proud, but there's no Indian. Sorry. You okay, were... Rushina, go. <laughs> Rushina. I think because it's like all soggy and wet outside. Ah! These... Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Stop you it! Know, the analogies and the metaphors. That I can't organ think. in your head. Stop it! <laughs> Torture. Torture. Three women. See, it is oh, the same oh. fascination that you have for sexual innuendos. I don't. Are you started laughing, Shakti? You're you. the blame. I just laugh loudly. You like? Oh, you yeah, yeah, hello. It wasn't a funny <laughs> joke. How you perceive things? You when somebody says uh, wet and soggy, doesn't necessarily mean you have to start laughing. The beginning of a sentence and sexual innuendo. Take that Chavi, same logic to monsoon the and pakoras. Same. No, you started groaning like the boss. I know. I, I, I don't like See, pakoras. I was just trying to answer the food question. Without yes. the British accent. <laughs> yes, that's what rhythm. she was trying to do. Okay, Puneet, we try we to answer. We need to meet some other time for that to come out. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> After five drinks. <laughs> My husband is going to think I've completely lost it. <laughs> After five vodka, they both talk accents. Last time I thought I'm getting divorced after the podcast. Who knew he got happy? Sab chalta hai. It's fifty percent. You know how it is. Win See, some, you won't get some. any more kima buns if you're not please, nice. Please, please, I want the kima buns. No puns intended. <laughs> Now, will you come back to Puneet? So basically, uh, I like chai and chai and pakoda when it's raining. Same here. I like it's the only time in the I year. I suppose that's right. I think it's the crispiness. No? One year, once smell. a year. You just said it's soggy and wet, and you're saying it's crispy. Soggy and wet outside. You didn't let her finish. Yeah. Oh, you talk about the rain. I thought you talk about the pakoda. No, I was. Saying it's <laughs> wet and soggy outside, and fresh, crispy, spicy samosas inside. Okay. And <laughs> okay. Uh, I okay. I'll live with that. I'll not say anything. More. So, in my amateur opinion, Puneet, call us next month. So we need some time. We need some time. Give us twelve months. Yes, next week. But enjoy your. Um, Monsoon no. pakoda. Yes, likes enjoy And your pakoda. If you don't like pakoda. pakodas, have pizza. <laughs> okay then. Well, anything could get pizza. It's pouring rain. He's on marine drive. See, Are it Domino's? Domino's? I know. I know. In thirty minutes. Why will you recommend pizza? Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. The worst food. I love like, pizza. Like you can do so much at home. Like make soup, make noodles, make. And in India, it's pizza. But if I'm like really make tired, I would order. It takes. Okay, can I ask ten minutes to cook a fried egg? The Less funny part is they do their own yeah, podcast in my podcast. So in many ways, this is not my podcast anymore because in The podcast is the podcast, <laughs> and I'm outside the bloody so podcast. Do my podcast alone. Podcast. <laughs> sexual, sexual. You are just having your own fun, and I'm just pushed to the side. I feel like a minority all okay, again. Okay, one, Can two, three. Next question. We love you, Cyrus. And the balloon goes bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger. Okay, can we get back? Question two, two. from Joanne. What's the last thing you think of before sleeping, and the first thing you think of when you wake up? It's two um, questions. Pakoras. Because now that's going to be on my mind for some time, and why they are wet and soggy, or how we can get a pizza at Marine Drive and it's pouring rain. These are questions that are going to blow my mind for the next ten days. But uh, what about what, us? No, I do. I think of women before when I fall asleep, and uh-huh. I and then I groan and moan, and then when I wake up. <laughs> Remember these three faces? Yes, yes, yes. You're not going to sleep. No, I, I won't. If I'm thinking of you and Kunal, no. you're thinking of us three. Why am I always in Kunal? Why are Kunal and me you in the same film? Me. But I don't want that movie to be made. Can't I have another movie? But Sun is setting and he's yeah, 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 yeah. on your lap. I'm braiding. 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 Oh, Enough. No, no, no mas. I throw in the towel. No more Kunal. No more Kunal. Nigella is. Abu Salim is. Or who is? In today's podcast. Mein? What, the, what are you going on about? Again, you do your own podcast. <laughs> Don't do your own podcast. Uh, I'm sorry, Joanne. I would like to answer your questions, but these women are bullying me so much. They've removed me from the show. I'm just on the periphery of my own show. I'm thinking I want to sleep right now if I could. Okay, we'll be good. Right, yeah, I actually thank God for everything. No, why lie? I <laughs> just go to sleep. Well, what do you, you think of quickly? Up? Sorry. When when you wake up, what do you think of? When I wake up, I normally uh, think of the fact that unfortunately I will have to get up and not go back to sleep. I think a lot of people have that same feeling. Yeah. Why don't we ever get up feeling like doing anything? You no. all, I don't know. I think you have to really I love don't. what you do, no? I don't. Yeah. But look at what I do. I can't even do my podcast anymore. Yeah. I no wonder you wake up depressed. I always wake up depressed. Really? Then I look at my you wife and I get more and... depressed. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. <laughs> Oh, it's the same person for the rest of your life. Are you life. still married? Once, you know what I did? I carried a mustache from a shoot, and when she was sleeping, I put the mustache on. So at least somebody different. When I woke up, I said, "Hi, couple, how are you?" Of course, that meant 25 days no physical uh, contact. Well, there was, but not the kind I wanted. Uh, moving on. Next. Last question from Ravi. Have you had the opportunity to replace your career with somebody else's? Whose would you pick? I thought Nadia Comaneci would have been a good pick. Yes, I just want to spread good. my legs and be on a on on an instrument like that without feeling pain. I, I just thought it was fantastic. Okay. 
It's <laughs> called the par- it's called the parallel bars. Yeah. And Ooh, she was a chimney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were little, Cyrus and I generation, yeah. there used to be a TV show called Nadia. Do you remember? Uh, yeah. That's what I based it on. <laughs> anyway, she was a gymnast who won lots of gold medals in the time of the you know the terrible so communism yes, era. Yes. So she was from Romania, very pretty girl, and then defected to America. But the point is, she was very flexible. And I was one thing growing up, and I saw this on Doordarshan. I said, why can't I be like this woman? Not in a change my gender way, but just the flexibility. I've hmm. always wanted to be like that. So that's one career. If not that, then there, I've got a list of mostly most other careers that I would choose. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a long list. <laughs> No, no, what about you guys? If you weren't doing this, what else would you do? Well, whose career would you take? I didn't plan to do this, so I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think that's I a lie, it. Rushina. How will you go to sleep at night lying like this? <laughs> There's someone you want to be. Be that someone. Um, Your time is ticking. It's still my Nigella? podcast. No, Nigella, no. she's overdone now. Enough. I just want to be me. So people, the, so people will want to be me one day. There you go. Yeah. Maybe Nigella. You never know. <laughs> and Shakti? Rushina is very political in answering. I yeah, realize. diplomatic. Yeah, go on. Shakti, what do you want to be? I don't know. I'm so confused in my We current... don't have 45 minutes for this answer. <laughs> so please be less confused. I think I want to be Gauri Khan. So I can Gauri Khan? Khan every night. <laughs> okay, no, hello, I hello. How do we option. know? <laughs> How do we know Gauri sees Shahrukh every night? We don't know. How do we know? Well... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, there's a fallacy there. I, okay, so <laughs> we want to be whoever sees Shah Rukh Khan. Every yeah, maybe Priyanka Chopra. <laughs> uh, and uh, Chavi? I don't have an answer for that. Of course you have an answer I just have that. questions. Come on, uh, what, who, who would you... Uh, okay, it's not like you don't want to be you, but if you want you... You don't want to be the Chavi is like the sure. secret CIA I'll agent. You, no, <laughs> no. Reply. She has to be that... Um, <laughs> She has to be that, uh, 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 what's MI5, that lady? Uh, Money Penny. Money Penny. No. 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 Yes, that's the only character. You have to be M. You have to be hot. Just because she is British. She's Hello. Awesome. Hello, <laughs> girls. So cool. I know my James Bond. All the hot women have exotic uh, Eastern <laughs> accents and Asian accents, accents and Jamaican yeah. accents. British accents are very The British hot. accent is Money Penny. She's sitting at the desk. That's the job. And has with a like, British accent. Sorry. She's boss. She, she may be the boss or not, but she's got that uh, job which is of she no fun. So but hot. one second, she's, she's awesome. maternal to James yeah, Bond. Yeah, you Wouldn't need to you be rather hot. be sexual to James Bond. Like okay, let them keep talking, so guys. The show's Daniel, over. I'm just, I'm, I, like, just like you, if you can put it off, put it off now. But I can't no, put it off because it's going to stay in the studio. So I'll have to keep no, listening to this. So whatever pain you're feeling now, imagine mine is not ending. This is just going on and on and on. Girls, is lovely. If you keep talking, I'll say bye from all of us. You go away to your life and I'm stuck with them. Uh, yeah, you were saying girls. Yeah, we're <laughs> One, two, three. We, we love, love you, you, Cyrus. Bigger, bigger. But it's the it's wrong part. Bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's really all the time we have. The show has come to an end. Thank you, Rishina, for being here. We want to plug yourself once again so people can come and learn about food. Will you come? I will. How far is it? Very far. How like where? But you love me, right? Yeah, I love you. But where? Uh, Sakinaka. Okay, we got to talk about this. <laughs> I can't just... Yeah, but love has Blondies. a limit. <laughs> For me, love ends at Shivaji Park. I tried. <laughs> Come on, stop being so South Bombay. Oh, I can't help it. Come. I don't have GPS. Come with your husband. He knows how to go. Aray, that bloody he useless came, fellow. He came, he came. He's unbelievable. He's always in a bad mood. He came, he came. But that's because he thinks it's his business now. You don't give him so much power. The man is so lazy. He once called me up and said, uh, Brocha, he lives alone in a two-bedroom house. Brocha, I've decided no more going to the hall to eat. I'll eat in my bed. What's the point? Nobody else is here. So now he's actually that five feet he would go to the hall and come back. That is cut out. But he's so cute. Yeah, well, he's like a cuddly bear. Yeah. I would think more like one of those big sofas that you can fall on and, you know, it sploshes up and down. I don't want to follow him. I, I don't know. I think of him as You a, don't fall on him. Yours. That's on all your knee, remember? Okay, it's no longer my podcast. Okay, so, so let's, let's just do No, you do your thing. I'm just, I've already disappeared. ABB so, Cook Studio people, please come. Follow her on uh, Twitter. Both on Twitter, Twitter as uh, Rushina MG. I'm Shakti. That's S H A A Q T. And we're the ones who love Cyrus. Yeah. And I used to have a podcast. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> You're listening to Cyrus Says. All views and opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily the views and opinions of the Indus Vox Media Network or any of our show advertisers or sponsors. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast, obviously. 
All right, Cyrus says is wrapping up, but we have Geek Fruit, which we wanted to check out. Hosted by Uber Geeks, Tejas, Menon, and Jishnu Guha. They're like Simon and Garfunkel, except they're Tejas and Jishnu, and they can't sing. No, they can, actually. And they talk about geek culture. If you're a geek or want to know about geeks or live with a geek or just next to Turkey is geek, uh, go ahead, my friends. Uh, listen to Geek Fruit.